Java Wednesday versus Eighth Town. Let's hope we can get a win. It's a tough run of game coming up now. Go and say, go and say, go. Hi guys and welcome to this video. If you could like, share and subscribe to the channel, I'd much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's faces and subscribing lets me know you like the content. And if you want more Wednesday content, Talking Wednesday is every Tuesday at 5pm and it's on all podcast platforms of choice. So it'll be interesting to see how we do in this game because this is going to be a very interesting game because they are on a very good form. They are second in the form table, as I said in the preview. They're looking well. And we're all wondering what this team's going to be like. Are we going to get the new lads in? All those questions. So here is the team sheet. Peacock foul story, Dean. So the two defenders start. Hutchinson, Mendes, Lang, Deli Vatteru, Longo. Bannon, Johnson, Windak, Canberry. No Gregory. Gregory got a knock of some sort. We don't know what that is. Wildfiff, Hunt, Palmer, Bayer, Patterson, So, and John Jules. John Jules is on the bench, which is great. The lineup for it switches Walton, Dakona, Wolfenden, Edmondson, Burns, Barkinson, Mizuna, Selena, Thompson, Chaplin, and Bonner. Mac Macaulay Bonin. Uh, Hallard, Burgess, Harper, Aluko, Edwards, Norwin, and Piggott is on the bench. I'm very surprised with Piggott that he's not actually found that form there. Uh, I would have thought he would have done really well there. So, let's see what we can do. It is a shame to have no Gregory, but we're just going to go with it, and hopefully there will be a situation where we can see what happens in this game of football. So, hopefully, at the end of this, there'll be three points to have. So, first half, really good start by us. They have a lot of the line share of possession. Are you thinking, what's going on here? Can can we do something? But, great ball in to the box by Lang. And it's a good finish by Johnson to make it 1-0. And it's on the turn as well. And we're just going forward. We're really just going through the paces and going through our motion. And we're getting forward. That's some really good football. Some good chance as well, which we've not taken, which is something we have to really remember. That's what we did last time, where we just didn't take the chance. Canberra looked superb this game. He really has looked good. He's had a couple of chances that has gone wide. Dean's had a head to go wide. Uh, Lang's had two beautiful chances. He went for power, and not placement. He go for pa placement with probably, hopefully, uh, two 0 But you'll have to see. But at the same time, it's one of those games where we just got to try and get on on it. But that being said, them coming forward, they had attacked. We looked strong at the back. Good tackle by uh, Dean. Dean's on the yellow already. But at the same time, we are doing really well going forward. We just got to try and bury these chances because we're going on the break and looking really good. So if we can bury those chances, we should be okay. But Again, I don't want to add the situation where we're looking at burying chances that we didn't take last time. So hopefully we can do that. Let's see what happens. Uh, but at half time, it is 1 0 Wednesday and we're looking strong. Second half, they come out of the traps a little bit more switched on than us. But at the same time, we know what they're going to be doing here. They are trying to get the ball forward, they're trying to get everything going. And we've just got to keep doing what we've been doing now annoyingly for us we have some really good chances again we can bury we just can't bury them and it's such a shame because if we can bury these chances we're in a much better position and it's one of those things where it's going bury these chances and you see games out because i don't think they were the better team there i think we outplayed them a little bit they had a couple of chances going forward and we managed to defend it well Joel john comes on for Windass, a lot of people were looking like it could have been Canberra, but Canberra, for me, has been solid. He's very, very good. Uh, let's be fair, he's very, very good at a team player getting in between it. Jules John, when he did come, looked okay. Uh, Hunt came on for Marvin Johnson. The problem with Marvin Johnson, hopefully Johnson can be okay, but it wouldn't surprise me if you see Hunt next game just because of how many games we've got coming up. Dean and Story looked absolutely solid at the back. Just what we needed as well. We needed that kind of player to help us out at the back. They looked solid. Dean 
Harley Dean I, 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 just done everything we needed to be vocal, talking to defense, getting people to switch on. They do go for it, and you're looking at like the 80th minute time, and we are letting them have time. There's a bit where they run straight forward, and you're like, no one put a tackle, you get past Hunt, you get past Palmer, you're like, put a tackle in. Uh, I think it might have been Dory actually, but. Palmer looked a bit shaky coming off the bench. He didn't look great at times. Uh, need to improve that. But that is a massive three point for Wednesday in this game. Um, with And it's been a mental set of games throughout the league because I think there was a seven... Let me just have a look here. Results. 7-2 for Otford with four penalties in it. 6-0 uh, for Bolton versus Sunderland. 2-2 two, two for Accident to Stanley, 1-1 one, one for Shrewdtown, Wimbledon, Plymouth 1-3-1, one, one. Um, MK Don beat Burton, a 3-3, three, three. Uh, no, that's last time, uh, but that being said, actually, I'll say it now, last time out, Fleetwood Plymouth with 3-3, three, three, so it was the thing that he had to get a win, and yeah, it's, it's an odd one, some of those games went for us, we're in 8th now on 43 points with Plymouth on 47. Uh, and also, Donny was winning that game as well. Oxford on 49. we got a game in hand. Uh, we play, I think it's Morecambe. No, it's not. Uh, let me get my calendar up. I know we've got a game coming up soon. Uh, no, we do have Morecambe. We've got Morecambe. Let me have a look at this. Yeah, it's Morecambe on Tuesday. So I, I blanked then. I really blanked. So we've got Morecambe on Tuesday. Got to win that. They're in the relegation zone now as well. And then it big, big game coming up. So Burton, Wig, Wigan, Rotherham, Donny. Uh, there's a game in between. The Atkins and Stanley. There's a lot of game coming now, thick and fast. And there's some winnable games here. So let's see what we do. And hopefully we can go on a little bit of a run. Could be nice. And it'll be interesting if we got any last bit minute business to do on Monday, but by the time it sounds like we're all done, if anything, it'll be players going out unless we get players recalled and we want to try and get someone in. Uh, so yeah, it, it finishes 1-0 Wednesday. It's all three points. Need to start taking those chances though.